Elon Musk confirmed that he is working on Tesla's master plan part 3. Elon Musk's accomplishments over the last decades seem very shocking to those who had been assuming Tesla would fail. But the Tesla's CEO was able to prove them wrong using his well-planned master plan that was divided into two halves. And now, Elon has announced that he is working on the third stage of his Tesla master plan. And to be honest, we can already feel what's coming next. So what should you expect from Tesla's third master plan? Let's look at why Tesla's new master plan will be a game changer and the most important of all three. Well, to know what to expect, we need to get some facts straight. First of all, Elon is not the one to disappoint us on his master plan's main agenda. In his first master plan, Musk disclosed in a 2006 blog post that his electric car company Tesla was part of a long-term goal he saw for the future. And as far as the future was concerned, his long-term objective was to manufacture a diverse variety of models, including family-friendly cars that would be accessible to the average person. According to Musk, the primary purpose of Tesla Motors was to revolutionize transportation at that point. His desire to aid in the acceleration of the transition from a fossil fuel economy to a renewable energy economy was a significant component of his reason for establishing his company. We all know how he did an amazing job with that. And there is no doubt that Master Plan 3, which we plan to explore in this video, has much more advanced goals now. To be exact, the first Master Plan called for the development of a sports vehicle, followed by the use of the earnings to create a low-cost automobile. Then he would use the earnings of the low-cost automobile to create an even more economical car, and as a consequence, he would be able to provide zero-emission power generation and reasonably priced electric cars. Then came 2016, and Elon Musk unveiled his second master plan. According to his blog, the money he received from PayPal was just enough to cover the costs of his initial master plan, which he went into great detail about. And so, when it came to the second stage of his grand plan, he aimed to develop a sustainable energy economy to prevent society from collapsing when fossil fuels run out. This is why he created Solar City and Powerwall to address the issue. In contrast, Tesla concentrates on two classes of premium vehicles and SUVs to service a broader consumer base with fewer resources. Musk also planned to convert Tesla into a company that designs and manufactures the machines that make other machines to maximize the production volume and accelerate the transition to a sustainable future. If you have watched the inside video of the new Gigafactory Texas and Giga Berlin, you would already know that his goal came to reality for Tesla. However, they might get even more upgrades for the Master Plan Part 3 now. Also on Musk's radar was traffic safety. To make Tesla's autopilot 10 times safer than the national average of one death per 89 million miles driven. An ad, as authorities authorized true self-driving and Tesla users began to summon their automobiles anywhere they chose, the second phase of Musk's grand plan was to involve car sharing. As part of this, you would choose to join the Tesla's shared fleet, which would allow other people to summon your car when you are not using it yourself. And so, the second phase of the master plan involved the creation of solar-powered home roofs with built-in battery storage as part of a pilot project. The product selection for electric vehicles would also be broadened to encompass all major categories. Master Plan 3 will have to pick up some agendas from Part 2. Master Plan Part 2 described how Tesla plans to employ fleet learning to develop a self-driving capability that would be 10 times safer than human driving. Hence, by using your car as a robo-taxi, it would be possible for you to make money when you are not actively driving it yourself. Part 2 was released six years ago, and since then, Musk has been working on solar roofs, solar panels, and the Model Y crossover SUV, among many other projects. 
Tesla is working on integrating car sharing. However, this service hasn't yet been made available to the public in its completion. Elon will not give up on this objective, and we will see it taken to the next level with his Master Plan 3. Elon Musk's tweets provide a plethora of information regarding Tesla's master plan and future intentions. A critical component of the approach will undoubtedly be the scalability to extreme size to transition humanity away from fossil fuels. Tesla has set to manufacture 20 million automobiles by 2030. So, it appears as though the third master plan would be focused on accomplishing, if not exceeding, this objective. Although Tesla has seen remarkable growth, the company still only represents a small fraction of the global vehicle market, little over 1%. That's why it is necessary to scale up to an extreme scale to make a meaningful transition away from fossil fuels. But the creation of batteries is a significant stumbling barrier to future development in the industry. On the flip side, though, Tesla has created a production method that is vertically integrated and automated to the greatest extent possible to keep up with the demand. The company's human resources also contribute to its ability to scale up operations. There have been significant contributions to the scalable manufacturing process made by Elon Musk, Franz von Holzhausen, and Gilbert Passen. This will continue as long as these leaders are in place. So, as Tesla's output continues to expand, we should expect to see an increasing number of gigafactories in the future. Another important objective of the Master Plan 3 is the manufacturing of batteries. It is the primary impediment for future scaling, which is then related to the mining of rare earth minerals, copper, lithium, nickel, cobalt and other elements required for battery production. And because of this, it is possible that mining for rare earth minerals may play a significant part in Tesla's new Master Plan 3. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, has suggested that his electric car company may begin mining lithium nearly two years in advance to meet the future demand, citing the rising price of the metal as the reason for the possibility. For instance, because of Russia's war with Ukraine, lithium has become embroiled in the instability of the commodities market. Even before the battles, raw materials costs were rising as demand skyrocketed and supply became constricted due to supply chain issues caused by the outbreak of COVID-19. During the past year, the benchmark Mineral Intelligence Worldwide Lithium Pricing Index has risen by around 490% according to statistics. Actually, Lithium pricing has become such a source of concern for China that it has convened a committee of market parties for two days of discussions in an attempt to avert a sharp spike in prices. So, manufacturers are trying to obtain lithium supplies since it is a vital component in electric vehicle batteries. They anticipate a spike in demand due to the international push to electrify the transportation. And Elon would want to beat this before it becomes Tesla's problem. According to Elon's recent tweets, Tesla's master plan part 3 might potentially incorporate the business's metamorphosis into a fully artificial intelligence and data company. After all, Elon Musk has stated that Tesla would be renowned more for its artificial intelligence than for anything else in the future. Currently, Elon has made it quite apparent that Tesla's core concentration will be in the field of artificial intelligence. The company has been focused on real-world AI difficulties, and it recently organized an AI day to officially debut the Optimus humanoid robot, which was a huge success. The CEO of Tesla stated during the company's fourth quarter earnings call that the most important product development is the Optimus humanoid robot, which he feels has the potential to be more substantial than the automobile company in the long term. Labor is the backbone of the economy, he said emphatically. And so, with no labor shortages, humanoid robots have the potential to revolutionize the global economy. Furthermore, they might play a crucial role in scaling up to gigantic proportions and overcoming the restrictions of battery manufacture. As a result, Elon's Grand Plan 3 
is to build the world's best artificial intelligence training supercomputer to tackle real-world problems that go well beyond self-driving cars. Following a prolonged period of increased scrutiny of the electric vehicle maker's advanced driver assistance capabilities, Elon Musk has continued to voice the company's commitment to artificial intelligence. The Boring Company is another part of the grand plan that should not be forgotten. The Boring Company successfully finished the tunnel digging for its first public project, completed on time and on budget. When Elon Musk founded the tunnel building company in early 2017, he had the objective of improving Las Vegas transit capacity, was the second of two tunnels at the Las Vegas Convention Center scheduled to be finished in mid-2020. A planned bi-directional link with three stations and a length of 4,500 feet was then suggested for the complex, allowing guests to travel around the complex in all electric Tesla vehicles in less than two minutes. And only a few months after the breakthrough, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk hinted at even further developments on his social media platform. So, completing a single tunnel does not imply that the entire project is complete. And for this reason, Elon's Master Plan 3 will definitely contain a strategy for how to profit from the boring company and the company's long-term strategy, since Elon had initially imagined the company as a game-changer of the industry. What would you like to see on Elon's Master Plan Part 3? Let us know in the comment section and see you in the next videos.